Jacqueline Joyner Kersey may have been one of the greatest athletes of her generation, but Shakari Richardson is proving to be one of the most promising sprinters of all time. I had to go within myself because I know at the end of the day, nobody in track and field can sit and not and can discredit. So it is very befitting that Shakari was announced as the winner of the 2023 Jackie Joyner Kersey Female Athlete of the Year Award a few days ago. The award given to the top male and female athletes by USATF, the governing body for the sport, is the highest accolade for women in this country and is chosen by a combination of fan and media votes. Arguably, Shakari Richardson is one of the greatest sprinters of her generation and is close to being one of the best athletes ever. Basically, almost one of the best at the age of 19. I definitely just had to learn a lot. I had to grow a lot. I had to mature. For one, the 23-year-old Richardson dazzled at the World Championships in Budapest in August, winning the gold medal in the 100 meters and taking bronze in the 200, as well as anchoring the U.S. team to a gold medal in the 4x100 meter relay. All the heavy hitters were going to bring their A game, so it helped me pull out my best A game as well, Richardson later shared. I'm next to living legends. It feels remarkable. Looking back at her run at the World Championships, Shakari Richardson recently shared her thoughts in a series of Instagram stories. In the first story, Shakari wrote, To be the underdog isn't the worst, but to give up isn't living up to your worth. Then posted in another story, which isn't based off the flesh, but what your soul feels for when you're alone and you know what's next. It is obvious to everyone that she has reinvented herself on the track in ways some thought unthinkable. Her now famous statement, I'm not back, I'm better, has become a symbol of her performances throughout this breakout year, where she has confounded expectations by becoming arguably the biggest star in U.S. athletics today. After winning the 100-meter race at the Worlds, she said that the most important cause she's embracing is herself. It's always been my time, but now it's my time to actually do it for myself and the people that feel like me, the people that look like me, and the people who know the truth about themselves as well. I represent those people. Simply put, Shakari Richardson now stands on top of the world as the USA's first woman's 100-meter world champion since the late Tori Bowie in 2017 and only the second non-Jamaican since Carmelita Jeter in 2011. Although the world will remember Richardson's stunning gold medal run in Budapest, the real secret to her success this year has been consistency and development. Of the eight fastest 100-meter times of 2023, Richardson owns five with the earliest of those coming back in May when she ran 10.76 with the outdoor season having just begun. On that note, Shikari made sure that she opened and closed the season with a bang. In her final race of the track and field season, Shikari Richardson flaunted her natural hair as she competed in the 2023 Diamond League final in Eugene, Oregon. After she finished the women's 100-meter competition in fourth place at 10.80 seconds, Shakari spoke to NBC Olympics and Paralympics about why she chose to rock her curly coils loud and proud. I will say, my coach, I told him that if I go 10.06, I'll wear my natural hair. So when I became the world champion and set a championship record, I ran a 10.65. So I had to pull out the natural the track and field star said as she shook her curly afro from side to side. Even after finishing fourth at the Prefontaine Classic at Hayward Field in Eugene, Richardson bounced through the media mix zone with a big smile, talking about how she's fallen back in love with my sport over the last year. Just so you know, Shikari came home last in the 2022 Prefontaine Classic. Still, even with her disappointment, Richardson showed just how much the sport means to her as she defiantly defended her own love for athletics and the ability to perform. I'm a warrior, she said after the race. My passion will always come out for my love for what it is I put my blood, sweat, tears, and sacrifice into. This last month was a journey for me, but that's no excuse because at the end of the day, I'm an athlete and today was the day, but it's not every day. It's not the end of the world, and if you choose to count me out, the joke's on you. With this, it's pretty evident that Shakari's love for the sport is deep-rooted. This sounds familiar, as she shares this trait with the legendary sprinter Flojo, who, from a young age, developed an interest in sports and fashion. Even Al Joyner, Flojo's husband, saw the young athlete's innate talent. When I see Richardson and Elaine Thompson, they remind me of my late wife. 
Al Joyner said, they're going to get close to the record because they're seeing it as attainable. For more than three decades now, sprinters have been chasing the records cemented next to the name Florence Griffith Joyner. Flojo, with her iconic long nails painted bright and wearing a flashy purple one-legged bodysuit, was a blur of neon blazing down the track at the 1988 Olympic trials as she competed in the 100 meters. She stunned the crowd and shocked the announcers when her time of 10.49 came. Fast-rising track star Shakari Richardson is believed to share a lot of similarities with the legendary Flojo. American sprinter Shakari Richardson has a similar burst from the blocks as Flojo. What's more, she shares the same sense with Flojo as well. In fact, Richardson wore her hair in a vibrant orange to represent flames at the U.S. trials for the Tokyo Games because of a marijuana suspension soon after winning the trials. Some think that Richardson might be the one to eclipse the mark one day soon. In fact, Vogue has labeled Shakari Richardson as the Flojo of our time. All that said, Shakari Richardson very much deserves to be hailed as the 2023 Jackie Joyner Kersey Female Athlete of the Year. On their page, USATF enumerated Shakari's races this season, which were so remarkable that she was ultimately given the award a few days ago. USATF described her as dominant when she took over the world stage in 2023 and gave a glimpse at what was to come later in the season with a windy 10.57 at the Miramar Invitational early in the season in April. Throughout the season, Richardson had 12 wind-legal sub-11 clockings in the 100, capped off by a 10.65 to take gold at the World Athletics Championships in Budapest and move her to number five on the world all-time performer list. What's more, Richardson took the 100 crown at three separate Diamond League meetings and won the USATF Nike Women's 100 title in 10.82. With Budapest 200 bronze, Richardson became the first American woman to medal in both sprints since Carmelita Jeter took gold and silver in 2011. In one of the most memorable moments of Budapest 23, Richardson anchored the U.S. women's 4x100 to gold in a world-leading 41.03 to pull off a glorious USA 4x100 sweep. And so, Shakari Richardson recently received news that she's won the USATF 2023 Jackie Joyner Kersey Female Athlete of the Year Award. This is one of the greatest honors in the U.S. for female track and field athletes since its inception in 2013. Needless to say, Shakari Richardson's track and field journey evokes a wide variety of emotions. From disgrace to redemption, her story is a true testament to Jackie Joyner Kersey's legacy. I have peace, not making peace. I have my peace now back in this industry. I went through, I went through a rough time in track and field. And speaking of the 2023 Jesse Owens Male Athlete of the Year Award, Shakari's friend Noah Lyles is also a receiver of the award. Watch this to see what Lyles did this season that earned him the said award. 